Thanks so much for tuning in to another Addicted Fishing Tutorial Addicts. If you're brand new to our channel and you're just now finding us, be sure to tap that subscribe button down here in the corner. You're gonna find all sorts of education, fun fishing videos. We travel around and film in all sorts of areas. So if you love fishing, tap that subscribe button. Right. And now that we got that out of the way, dude, this has been a video that's been asked for a lot, a yeah. ton. I see, the, yeah. I see it in the comments all the time. So oh, you guys God. have been asking for this. We're gonna talk about how to put these little things onto <laughs> that little fish right there. And we are gonna do that right now. All right, dude, so before we get started, introduce yourself, Nick, to the people out there that are watching that might not know who you are. Yeah, I'm Nick Popov. I'm the owner and operator of Peel the Real Guide Service, and I'm one of the addicted guides, and uh, I'm about to show you how to rig an anchovy helmet. Cool, let's do it. Let's just dive right the frick in and show these people what this little plastic thing is here. So, I'm gonna kneel down here, guys, but this is kind of one of the most popular, most talked about. I've, I've been asked this a million times in the comments. We see it all the time on the Addicts page, so we're gonna dive in. Basically, I start with a two hook sliding rig. Same thing as I use for my standard anchovy rig. So this rig, the top hook slides, okay? And this what is- What size are the hooks? These are must add three out hooks right here. So basically I use a three out because these baits will generate, I mean, they'll, they'll come small, medium, and large. I like a smaller hook when you're trying to make a bait spin. If you can use four rods, they just get a little heavy and a little bit harder to make the bait spin, but stick with a three out. This is what I use here. So sliding hook. And then is what you're gonna do. I'm actually gonna rig this for you. So it takes a little bit just to see the full rigging, but so is what you do next is you take your helmet and there's a little hole right along the side here. It's got a little shoot through it. So this is where the people kind of get confused on what to do. And I'm sure there's different ways to do it. This is how I rig mine, but so you take that through the hole and then there's another little hole right next to the circle that you just went through. And this is the easiest way to get the line through. So after you fed the line through the hole, then is what I do. And this is my own little take here. So you just add, the, add a bobber stop. So your typical bobber stop you can buy from the sporting goods store. And this is gonna be an important thing here once we get the anchovy rigged. So I've tied my bobber and I tie my own. So if you know how to tie your own, you can do that as well. So I just clip my tag ends. And this is kind of the tricky part. So now you gotta feed the line back through your, your chovy helmet here. And this is where people kind of get confused. There's this little hole right here next to it. And it's gonna be kind of difficult to see, but it's that little hole right here. And this, this is how I do it. You don't have to do it this way, but I feed it back through the, the helmet and then pull out all my slack. And then you gotta go up through the nose. There's one little hole up here in the nose. So then I take my line and go back up here through the nose. Maybe if I can get a grip on my line. They're kind of a pain to rig. That's why I pre-tie them all. Okay, so once you feed it through the top hole, you then just pull that tight. So now you have your two hooks on your sliding rig, your helmet, and the bobber stop is pulled very tightly on that piece of line right there. And that's gonna become very important because that little bobber stop is gonna be your tension to create bend in your anchovy, okay? So now you're ready to rig. So is what you're gonna do is it's really important that this square piece stays towards your body and you have your anchovy facing as it would go into the helmet here. So is what I do is I, shove the anchovies head in there and then they all come with this little red pin and it's going to go right in through the eyes just like so and that's going to have your anchovy held in there now so now your anchovy is basically secured so now it comes to hook placement so there's two ways you really can do this any way you want this way is the way i there's two ways i rig it and it's the same way I would do a standard bait that I did with my anchovy. This front hook to me doesn't matter a whole lot because really most of the fish come on the back hook and it's once it's all snug down. So you can go all the way into the spine and out the other side, but I do it this way. I 
you gotta make sure you have enough flying out. There we go. So then that hook is placed three quarters of the way back on the bait and your second hook is placed right off the tail. So that way when that fish comes up and grabs it, it's either gonna get this hook or it's gonna get them both. It'll get the back hook or this side hook. But that side hook is to create your bend. So then you just snug down your main line and it's going to create your bend. And remember, slow current, bigger bend, fast current, smaller bend. And that's basically how you rig an anchovy helmet. And that thing is going to spin like a top. Those things are so deadly. And, and it's really nice because as we talked about in our previous video, anchovies heads and gills are very wide open and so they tend to flare out on them. So this eliminates the rubber band. It eliminates having to wrap stretchy thread or you, you know, wrapping or uh, uh, running a knot around the top of the lips. This is just a, a perfect way and you can literally fish these things for hours because the main part is protected. Yeah. So for all you addicts out there wondering how to rig an anchovy with a helmet, there you go. Super effective way. All right, dude, let's do it just one more time real quick, yep. just in case anyone missed it, you can show the hook placement again and just show people exactly how to do this one more time real quick. Absolutely, guys. So got same setup, the head of the anchovy goes straight and you gotta make sure you get it way up in the nose cavity. What'll happen a lot of times, guys will put it in short. You gotta make sure that's jammed all the way up in there. You take your little red pin that comes with these. And stab his eye out. And stab his eye out. <laughs> but the cool thing about those red pins is if you lose them, you can also use a toothpick. They work great as well. So then you come to your back hook. Boy, those little mustads are sharp. So then you come to your back hook here. Oops. And these are sliding guys, so that's how he's able to have them placed so close together like that. Yep. So you come to your back hook here. And they got really thick scales, so when you poke through, be careful, it kind of takes a little while. And then you just rotate that hook in there. So that hook sits flush up there, and you're gonna snug it nice and tight and create the perfect bend that you want. That back hook sits right back on the tail like that for any of the short biters. The cool thing about this rig is you're gonna get the fish that come up and nip the tail and you're gonna get the fish that eat it. You know, you have two exposed hooks and a perfectly spinning bait. So, um, and the other thing I've noticed about these two is sometimes we'll get bit on them and the heads will keep spinning because they're still, it's got the little lip on the yeah. edge of it. So even if you lose part of your bait or, you know, it shreds your bait up, there's something still spinning there and it, and it really does work. They come back and eat it a lot of times that they miss it the first time. So super effective way to fish an anchovy. And it's really guys, anything that's gonna have like fast current, that's where this is gonna excel the yes. most. You know, you're gonna see every guide, especially in this lower yeah. estuary fishery, no one's gonna be fishing without a, hel a helmet on the strong No, it's, it, I, that current is so, and until you fished out here, you don't know what we're talking about, but it's literally becomes a, a fast moving river just from the tide fluctuation yeah. in yeah. and out. So anything to protect the gills and the, and, and it keeps that bait, that bait right there will fish for hours. I mean, if you, I mean, I, I like fresh bait, but you know, if, if you wanna fish it that long, yeah. you're short on bait, that's how you can serve bait. Exactly, exactly. Well, there you have it, addicts. That was a video that you guys had all been asking for. Tons of comments in the sections yep. below that we've seen. And we're gonna make videos that you guys ask us to make. So if you guys wanna drop comments of other future video ideas you have, we'd be more than happy to make them for you because we're making these videos for all you subscribers right. that are subscribed to our channel. Yeah, do you have any trips coming up in the future, dude? Yeah, I do. I got a few days in September. I'll be out here until mid-September and then I will be moving down towards the Tillamook area to fish for fall chinook down there and right on into the tributary. So if you wanna get out, give me a call. Um, there will be a link down in the description and reach out to me. I'd love to have you out. Absolutely. We'll make sure we drop that link down in the description. Also, we have a couple other videos that we filmed with Nick out here today. We'll put those videos down below as well. So make sure you watch them because it kind of completes some of these other pieces that we talked about in the puzzle. So thanks again for tuning in, everyone. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel and you like what you've seen here, tap subscribe. If you're already subscribed, thanks so much. We we'll see you on the river. It. See you on the water. <laughs>